Hi, welcome to this week's service. I'm Reverend Cheryl Bolton, the minister of Trinity and Appen United Churches. Welcome to day, the last week of our four-part series based on our Vacation Bible School, the Rocky Railway <laughs> Vacation Bible School. I hope you've enjoyed this series as much as I've enjoyed presenting it to you, and I hope you've been able to get into the music and enjoy the stories as told by through the eyes of our children. Please join me in worship. That's Casper, my grandpuppy. Please join me in the call to worship. Come, let us praise God together, for God is great and worthy of our praise. Let's tell stories of God's power and majesty, his mighty acts throughout history, for God is great and worthy of our praise. Let's remember the compassion he has shown towards us, his mercy and unfailing love, generation after generation. For God is great and worthy of our praise. Let's pass these stories along to our children and grandchildren so that they too may come to know and love our God. For God is great and worthy of our praise. Let's worship God together. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you. Let us pray. 
Loving God, thank you for offering us Jesus Christ, like the simple gifts of bread and grape juice, to satisfy our deepest hunger and quench our deepest thirst. Please come into even the darkest corner of our lives. Please come into our heart and our mind and our soul. Uncurl your strength and beauty within us until we become more like you and show it in the things we do and say. Through Jesus, our brother and our savior. Amen. I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> Um. That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. A few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Our scripture reading today comes from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 42 to 47, and continuing with chapter 4, verses 32 to 35. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Life among the believers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and all had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Continuing on in verse chapter 4, the believers share their possessions. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions. But everything they owned was held in common. 
With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them. For as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. And so Jesus made all those sacrifices. Oh, hello. I'm Lala and Calvin. Well, hello, Lala and Calvin. Why don't you come over here and sit down with us and we can talk all about Jesus. Okay. This, this are arms and legs. I like your arms and legs. Come, we can use those arms and legs to help teach others about Jesus. Okay, sit down. And Lala first. Yeah. Oh, good job, Lala. Good job, Calvin. Jesus, who lived not long ago, wanted us to love each other in the same way I love you. See? Love each other in the same way Mom. I love you. Ah, no. And so he wants us to treat each other with kindness and love. I love Jesus. Well, here's the backpack to share with everybody. I love Jesus, too. Open it up. There's lots of food to eat. I was listening to, uh, um, to you talk about Jesus, and I, I sold my house, and I want to join you. Here's some money. Wow, thank you. Thank here's you. some for you and some for you. We can make good use of all of this wonderful money and gold. Thank you. Come and sit with us. I saw, I heard about you and I saw my sports car and bought a bus. And wow. Thank you, kind sir, for sharing what you have with us. Now we can travel all over faster to tell the word of Jesus. Let's share the love of Jesus. To Glencoe. Don't you just love that interpretation of the scripture readings? It's nice to hear other voices and other interpretations, but it's especially nice to hear it through the eyes of a child. I really, and actually, I want to take this opportunity to thank the youth and the adults who have come together to break, bring our Vacation Bible School together this year. It was a really uh, uplifting experience to see how it all came together and how many parts came together to work together to create this Vacation Bible School that we had this year. And really, that's what today's scripture is all about. Today's story was about how we all come together to deliver God's message, a message of hope, a message of goodwill, a message of peace and justice. This community has come together to do that this year. We come together a lot, actually. It's one of the blessings of this ministry of mine is that this community comes together and brings God's word to the world. Our ministerial association and our four, five churches in our community, uh, plus all the ones in the surrounding area, come together on a regular basis. We've come together through COVID and established a way of reaching out to those in need. The whole community has come together and what a blessing it has been. We've been able to reach out to those who are suffering, to those who are in need, to those who may be laid off uh, because of COVID, to those families who are struggling with little ones at home, trying to work and balance school and work together. And it's been a blessing that way. You know, sometimes we get so tied up in our everyday goings on that we don't always see what is right in front of us. And right in front of us is God's message. We get caught up 
in a world of work and other things that consume our time that we take too little time to be with each other. In today's scripture readings, we talked about how the followers of Jesus, the followers of the disciples and the apostles were growing by numbers, by leaps and bounds. And they were doing that communally, in community. What a wonderful blessing being in community is when we all work together to bring God's love to everyone equally, where justice is shown, where peace is shown, where no one is in need, as it's said in our scripture readings. Everybody has what they need. Nobody is living in greed. We have what we need to survive. That doesn't mean we have to give up the things we like. God wants the best for us. And when we work together in community, everyone benefits. Those who sold their community property and made it and gave the profits to the apostles, they benefited too. They benefited from the opportunity of being in community, of knowing the love, knowing what it feels like to have a gracious heart. There's so many benefits to living in community, to being in one with each other. I pray that you will always remember to be in community, to share that spirit of God's love, just as the early followers of Jesus did. And when we move back into normal time, whatever that may look like, I pray that you continue to be in community with each other, to support one another, to remember those who are having a more difficult time. Thank you for the opportunity to be with you, and thank you to those who participated in our Vacation Bible School this summer, whether you were creating it in the background, whether you were building it in front of the camera, or whether you were receiving the blessing of this. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being in community. And thank you to the viewers for the last four weeks as we've been able to continue this ministry. Bless you all, and may your journey continue. Amen. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this is made a place in heaven for me Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train. Let us come before God in a word of prayer. Today, O oh God, we are reminded by your holy word of what people of faith are like. We are reminded of their joy and trust in you. 
We are reminded of how they care for one another and reach out to help their brothers and sisters. We are reminded of how your presence in their lives conquers their doubts and fears. Lord, work strongly in us and conform our lives to the example of Jesus and all those with a living faith. Help us walk in your glorious light and rejoice in your saving truth. Gracious God, we recall how the sadness of the disciples was turned to joy and of how their fear was turned to courage by your risen presence. Help us show your present reality to all those around us who dwell in fear and sadness. Help us and the people of Christ everywhere to bring comfort to those who grieve, strength to those who are ill, and blessing to all those in need. Lord, hear our prayer, too, for those in special need of your presence this day. We ask that your spirit may touch those we name before you in the silence of our hearts, that your son might visit them and speak a word of healing, that your nameless servants in this world might bring unto them your comfort and your grace. We thank you, O God, for your power and presence in our lives. Make us known as a people who share that power and presence so that the glory we intend to give unto you may be given by all and so that our joy may be complete in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me again this week as we've learned how Jesus' power unites us and for our overall theme of how God's power pulls us through. I'm uh, happy to have had your company this on this journey, and uh, I would invite you next week to find a different voice. I'm on holidays next week, so there will not be a video available, but this is an opportunity for you to explore new voices and to get out in God's creation and spend some time with God that way. I'm Reverend Cheryl Bolton, and I thank you for being with us again this week. And now may the Spirit of the Lord be upon us. We have been called, we have been anointed, we have been given a task. So go out from this place, wherever you may be, and into the world. Go carrying good news to the world, news about freedom from oppression and healing for the afflicted. The time of the Lord's favor is now. Hallelujah. Amen. Bye.